The country's gross international reserves level hit $103.4 billion as of last month. Meanwhile, swift, dependable, and economical internet service will soon be accessible to the general public via the Open Access and Data Transmission Bill. This and more stories in tonight's business news wrap-up by Shariza Espargo. The country's gross international reserves, or GIR, level reached $103.4 billion as of the end of January 2024. The GIR level started at $103.8 billion at the end of December 2023. Slight decline in the GIR level is mainly due to the national government's payments of its foreign currency debt obligations and the value adjustment in the Banco Central ng Pilipinas, or BSP, due to the dip in the price of gold in the international market. Fast, reliable, and affordable internet service will be available for the public as well as micro, small, and medium enterprises, or MSMEs, through the Open Access in Data Transmission Bill. The National Economic and Development Authority, or NEDA, hopes the bill will establish an open access policy, create a comprehensive spectrum management framework, and improve the franchise and licensing regime for potential market players. These reforms are especially crucial in accelerating the government's goals of digitization and creating a dynamic innovation ecosystem. Pag-ibig home loans reached a record high of 126.04 billion pesos in 2023. These loan amounts financed the housing units of 96,848 members last year. The amount of housing loans released in 2023 grew by 8.19 billion pesos, or 7%, compared to the 117.85 billion pesos released the year before. In the coming months, the agency expects to maintain the affordability of their home loans through low interest rates amid prevailing high market rates. Shariza Espargo from the National TV Network for a new and better republic.